Hello, I am Federica Barbujan and I am a PhD candidate in industrial biotechnology working at the University of Milano Bicocca in neural engineering. If I remember correctly, I have just been nominated for winning the Nobel Prize. I'm joking. I wasn't born yet, so maybe, I hope, I was in my parents' fault. When I was a child, I would want to become a doctor. And nowadays, I can say that I have achieved it. But I am super happy to be a researcher. I love lab lives, plant experiments, and try to find new solutions improving people's lives. The role of vascularization in cancer. Since the lack of vascularization is one of the biggest limitations in the field of regenerative medicine and tissue engineering. Breast cancer is a real problem. It's straight one women in eight and its most common metastatic site is the bone. So the challenge will be to understand how the metastatic cells can reach the bone site. One of the biggest limitations in the field of regenerative medicine is the lack of vascularization. Due to oxygen and nutrient diffusion limits, thicker tissue are often not properly vascularized leading to the formation of necrotic and hypoxic areas which can increase the metastatic predisposition of certain cell types. To shed light on the bone metastatic process, we aim to develop a breakthrough technology that for the first time intersects the steps of the spontaneous breast cancer metastasis to the bone and captures the 3D complexity of the process. The unique device includes a 3D patient-derived primary relation, growing with its own self-assembled microvascular capillary network connected to a functional bioprinted macrovascular tree. The B2B device is a radically new future technology because the false right in between two types of in vitro models, the macro 3D models and the organ on chi. With our device, we aim to improve the complexity of the tissue model from dimensionality, yet maintaining the control typical of organ on chi platforms. A key point of the B2B device is that it doesn't just reproduce the macro and the micro, but it bridges them. That's something very challenging because it needs to integrate processes that are happening at the tissue level with those happening at the cellular level. Today, there is no in vitro model able to capture similar results. That's why the B2B would be a great technology, not just incremental, but truly revolutionary. The B2B device is a unique environment to study a complex process in a controlled system. It is truly unique because it lets us model the whole process of cancer development hiking both the growth of the mass at the primary relation and the metastasis formation. So the society could try benefit from it in short term for studies to predict drug pharmacokinetics, while in the long term this technology could be used for the production of complex and functional tissues for therapeutic cell transplantations. The field of bioprinting is constantly evolving and offers the perspective of a revolution in the area of regenerative medicine. The ultimate goal in the field is to transform functional bioprinted organs for regenerative therapies and transplantation purposes into reality. But the integration between the macro and the micro networks is the most innovative part of the B2B project and of course the hardest one. Even if the circulatory system mimics the features of uh, human blood vessels uh, feeding uh, and connecting living tumor cells from breast cancer to the target metastatic site, the bone, 
the device presents all the limitations typical of microfluidics devices, such as the little work volume. It is also necessary to combine multiple cells in a spatially controlled manner. In addition, one of the main problems is related to the slow nature of vasculogenesis and neoangiogenesis, which prevent a rapid and extensive vascularization of the engineered construct.